Hello gamers, my name is Kevin and this is the Veterans Gaming Podcast. gamers my name is kevin and this is episode 33 of the veterans gaming podcast this is fifa 23 career mode and i am the manager of blackpool fc and if you go back to uh, episode 32 the greatest game the greatest episode the greatest moment in the history of the veterans gaming podcast hopefully a very long history for the veterans gaming podcast we played watford in the efl championship playoff for a chance to go get promoted to the Barclays Premier League. And we were able to win 2-1 to one with a goal by Ben Doak in the 119th minute, right before penalties, which was great because I was dreading going to penalties. Celebrations, incredible for Blackpool. But now we have to continue uh, the career mode. And now we've got to make some tough decisions as far as who we're going to let go. There's going to be a couple of players who, quite frankly, will not come back, will never play for the Seasiders ever again. And so with those players leaving, we're going to have to bring in some new players. And uh, we've got to make some decisions as to uh, which players uh, I'm going to try to retain. And there's one player in particular that I really want to retain, but we'll see what happens. So let me take off these because I need to focus on the TV. It's just easier for me to do it that way. So, as you can see by the background, it's a different uh, different background. There's been some movement of furniture in this room. So, for uh, for the next bit here, you're going to see a, a different background of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. As you can see by that pennant, those two pennants here and here, I am a Boston Celtics fan. But most of all, that sign down there, Jets Man Cave, I am a New York Jets fan. I've been a New York Jets fan for over 40 years, and this is the year with Aaron Rodgers as the quarterback is the year that the Jets are going to win the Super Bowl. But let's not talk about American football. Let's talk about this football. Let's talk about soccer, and let's talk about uh, Blackpool, the Seasiders, getting promoted to the Barclays Premier League. Let's advance the time. Uh, we're basically going to advance the entire month of June here. So let's just uh, see what's going on here. Contracts. The following contracts will be expiring soon. And this is the one I need to see if I can bring back Gavin Bazuna. Let's see what a. Let's see. It says uh, he's a crucial uh, member of the team. His morale is high. So let's renegotiate the contract here. And quite frankly, with the season that he had. Uh, Christian Bazunu is going to be worth every penny. At this point, he can have whatever he wants from a monetary standpoint. Bazunu's role, crucial. Uh, his current wage is $10,000. Um, that's basically $10,500 a week. I mean, he's going to, I think he should get double that. I mean, he'll be a guaranteed starter. There's no question about that. The last happy with the role you're offering him. Okay, it's looking good so far. Good progress. We need to agree on how many years you'll stay with us. I'm going to go for the five-year deal here. We would like to add a five-year contract extension. Uh-oh. My client's not comfortable with the length of the contract you offered. He's looking for a three-year. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to, I'll, I'll accept it. We're going to go with a three year extension. We weren't looking to include a release clause. No issues there. We don't seem to include a release clause in the contract. Now let's go to the big daddy, the financial terms, see what they want. Hmm. Mm -mm. Let's go with oof. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 
crucial uh, contract and then let's go uh, with that there and then uh, the signing bonus oh, oh, oh hold on hold on What? Come on, I gotta give him. I want to give him a signing bonus. There we go. Seven thousand dollars. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Weekly wage of twenty-five. Deserve it. He deserves it. Okay. We. Ooh. Okay, that was the one that I was worried about most. So Christian Bazoon is gonna be our starter for the next three years. Okay, that negotiation went better than what I thought it would. Now comes this part. Uh, he, he, he can stay on loan. Bangor, do I need a... I don't think I need to negotiate his contract. Uh, Dominique Thompson. Let's see. You know, I don't... I don't really see a future with him on the team. So let me wait and see if I get an offer for him. And if not, I'll probably release him. This guy, I don't even want to talk about him. He can, he can stay at Liverpool. We already know the story. If you've been watching my videos, uh, a disastrous signing. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, same thing with uh, Curtis Nelson. I think we're going to uh, think we're gonna move on. But I'll see what I can get out of him in the transfer window. And uh, Jordan Lawrence, Gabriel, I'm really on the fence whether I should uh, move on from him or not. Uh, Andy Lyons, he's gone. Uh, he'll be going to Norwich. Let's see, Eric Martel, good signing. Uh, at 69 years old, I'm just going to go ahead and release. Uh, too many players released already. Okay, ooh, well. Well, hopefully, uh. Okay, okay, put him on the transfer list. I mean, he's very unhappy, but. Right now, I can't release them. Too many players released. So let me just keep advancing. Let's see what happens next. Okay, we've got a. Okay, FC Famalicão in Brazil have expressed an interest in signing Dominic Thompson. No problem. I'll let him go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see if I can get $2 million. Heck, I'll even go with uh, $1,950,000. Well, oh, man, looking sharp in that white shirt. All right, this is episode 32 of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. Uh, we're in the off season. We're headed to the Premier League. We're ready to offer. Let's see. Proposing transfer fee. Let's go with 950 and see how that goes. Okay. All right. We got an extra 150 grand for him. So that's done. So he'll be going to FC Famalicão. Famalicão. That's not like that's in uh, Brazil. 
Now you've changed your mind about some boss. I hope you give me a chance to prove my value. Listen. Well, that's not really what I wanted to say, but this this might not end well with uh, tribal. But let's keep skipping. Okay, Dominique Thompson is sold. Okay, got a decent price out of it. Right, let's look at that inbox and basically it confirms that he sold. Right, let's keep going. Close to the end of the month here, and then the uh, this will be the July transfer window. So we should be getting ready to go into the next season. Okay, here we go. We got uh, some players. Okay, this will be the end of the season. And we got some players that are returning from loan. And quite frankly, some of them will be going back on loan. Tom blocks them. Okay. All right. Tate Trusty. Doug Tharn. Ali Casey, Matty Virtue, Owen Dale, Reese James. Uh, some of these guys, quite frankly, are going to get released. So those are the season results right there. Finished fifth. We got to the uh, quarterfinals of the FA Cup. We got eliminated in the first round of the, of the League Cup, the Carabao Cup, which I never cared about anyway. So I guess, uh, I don't know what this is. Okay, that's that first friendly now since I'm gonna go to the uh, latest objectives let's look at the objectives what I accomplish hey hey listen manager popularity rating moderate 87 Pfft. it should be a hundred since we took we just went to the Premier League okay so uh, financial now nah, that wasn't gonna work Th this makes no sense right here. So let's go ahead and end the season. We've come to the end of the season. I'm ready to let you know that the board is delighted with your performance as manager so far. The players and staff clearly respect you. You seem to us to have done an excellent job aligning yourself with the club's culture and vision, both on and off the pitch. We will be happy for you to agree to continue the job you started here and remain at the club next season. You betcha. You betcha. So, let's advance. All right. Awesome. So, let's see what the plan is. I'm sure probably Tom Tribal is not too happy, but... I'm going to try to let him go as soon as possible. Uh, he basically just lost his place in the starting lineup to two better central defensive midfielders in uh, Romeo Lavia and Eric Martel. They're younger, faster, and better. Other than that great pass that Tom Tribal did in the uh, round of 16 against Luton Town, he was kind of up and down. But a, a heck of a way to go out with that game-winning pass. So I'll give him his props for that. But at 30 years old, like I said, we got some younger, fresher legs coming into that are already in the squad and have established themselves. So the best thing for Tom Tribal to do is for you know us to let him go, move on, and thanks for them for the memories. All right. So right now I think this is loading, and so we're about to. Uh, Start the July transfer window and get ready for uh, the Barclays Premier League. So we'll be uh, 
playing at Anfield, we'll be playing at Emmer Stadium, we'll be playing at the Etihad. And we'll be playing at Old Trafford as well. Okay, whoever that is, he's he's gone. All right, uh, let's see. Blackpool have been invited to participate in a preseason friendly tournament. This is a great opportunity to get to know all the players in your squad, experiment with different tactics, and get the team up ready for the upcoming season. There is also prize money for doing well in the tournament. Uh, quite frankly, I don't think I'm going to do any uh, of these tournaments. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that and get right to negotiation and see what kind of new blood I can possibly uh, bring into the team. Uh, okay, so I'm starting from scratch here, but I'm not going to do any kind of customization as far as the stadium. I just want to take a quick look here. Let's see, home stadium. Uh, no, no, there's nothing. Nothing I want to do with that, nothing I want to do with the stands, nothing I want to do with the pitch. Everything's good. Uh, let's see, training day. Uh, let's see, the transfer window is open. Please bear in mind that a player's value will vary depending on his form. Uh, it's also going to depend on the time remaining on his contract and how important he is to his current club. These and several other factors will combine to determine how much any player is likely to be sold for. I will add comments in relation to any transfer negotiations and as when I see fit. How about I can give you a better idea of what each player might be bought or sold for. So this is the chief executive. Uh, let's see, match reschedule for Man City. Uh, it'll be December the 28th and against Chelsea. Okay. No... Uh, no player chats. Yeah, let me see if I can release him. Because I don't want any unhappy players in the squad. So let's go to Squad Hub. That's going to be my new priority right there. Just yeah, he he won't be. Well, Norman ain't coming back. That's that's for sure. And then uh. He'll be he'll be leaving. Let's see. Let's see, can I release him? Release from contract. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So uh, that's the end of the line for Tribal. As you can see, uh, Martel, twenty. What is he? Twenty-one years old. And then you have Romeo Labia, who is nineteen. So uh, let's see. Jaime Cardona. 18 and he's only a 54. I'm not gonna. I'm not keeping him. All right, so Hamilton. This is a tough one because he he played great. So I think I'm gonna keep him for another year. Roger. I don't see him getting a lot of playing time. So in fairness. He'll do that. Mario Rodriguez. I don't know if I should put him on loan or not. That's 16. That's a tough one. That's a tough decision I have to make there. Because really, um, the strength of this team is the midfield. Uh, you've got Arda Goler. You've got Xabi Simmons. You've got Facundo Buanote. You've got uh, Romeo Lavia. And then, of course, earlier, uh, Mr. Uh, Eric Martel. So you've got a very solid uh, midfield. Then you've got uh, Lewis Miley and Rolf Wagner uh, coming in. So, you know, it's kind of a tough one, but I, I think I'll just, uh, I think I'll keep uh, Rodriguez, uh, Matt Virtue. Let's see if, uh, see if we can get something for him. Because I don't think he'll fit in the future. Uh, this, uh, He's 57, 19 years old. I'm not going to. Ah, too many players released already. And then uh, can I add them to the loan list? No. Okay, let me uh, remove him from the transfer list. Add him to the loan list. Okay, let's see. Virtue. He's 26. So I'm not, he's kind of too old to be on the loan list. 
in my opinion, uh, this man is so solid. He really came on towards the end of the year. Uh, Matthew Colombo trying to trying to get in there. Okay, I'll I'll give him a chance. Uh, Owen Dale, send him alone again. A thief. He's he's definitely a keeper. Doak Ben Doak, of course, for obvious reasons, a keeper. Bukari, my first signing, he his contract is, is expiring next year, so I'll keep him for another year, and we'll see how he does, and depending on how he does, I might keep him or not. And the reason why is because this young man, uh, Adam Arnold, uh, he he's an exciting prospect. So he's a 64 at 16 years old, so he's he's gonna be an important player. This man right here, no no introduction needed. Same thing here with uh, Felix Afenagian. These two guys are, and uh, I think uh, Orsini's gonna he's gonna make some he's gonna get some more playing time. I'm gonna rotate him uh, with the other two guys. I didn't I didn't put him in for those playoff games because uh, he hadn't been on the team long enough, so I didn't feel it was fair for him to start over Afenagian or and die. Uh, Tom blocks him. He has that something special, but uh, I want to send him on loan again. I want him to develop some more. Okay, hold on. Let me made a mistake there. But we're close to being done here. Okay, that's that's it. Okay. So that's pretty much what I got. Uh, what I've got for the roster. What am I going to do? Uh, okay, he's on loan. These players that are kind of not happy, I just want to... Yeah, these guys are all on loan list. Hamilton. Man, I just don't know what to do. With him, he's got great pace and all that, but... Uh, with Arnold, who's this winger... Well, yeah, he's got a lot of speed, too, so I might replace Hamilton with him. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me look at, let me look at one more thing here. Okay, let's look at stats. Okay, okay, these are just stats for the new year. I should have, I didn't get a chance. I didn't notice this as far as uh, last season. Let's see, development, balance. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is just a development plan. All right. Financial. Let's see who's making the who's making the most money out of this. Let's see, Kirk Nelson's the oldest. Shabby Simmons, uh, market value sixty-eight million, and man, he deserves it. Wage, uh, eighty-five thousand. So, but I'm I got some uh, guys here. They're, they'll be here all next season. Now what I'm thinking is I might. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Nelson. Hold on, let me transfer. Do a transfer here. I'm gonna put Nelson on the transfer list. Right here, Curtis Nelson at 30. Okay, he's already on the transfer list. I can't release him, but I think I'm gonna need a new. I think I'm gonna need a new younger center back. And really, at this point, that's really all I'm gonna be looking for. So let's see what we can come up with as far as uh, a center back. Hold on, with the youth staff. Okay, let's set up some scouting networks here. Um, let's keep them in England. Let's see. Where do I want them to go here? Oh, oof. oof. Tough one, so I want to. Oh, now we're cooking because now we get to go. 
all over South America. All right, let's, I'll take a chance and go with Colombia. See what we can come up with there. Then a Theo Bender. Set up a scouting network and I'm gonna send him to France and see what he can come up with there. See what kind of young bucks uh, we've got. Let's see, our current budget is uh, 561 million. So we got a ton of money. I'm guessing this is a, a ton of money for going into the Premier League. Now let's look at my career. Bro, I got promoted. Okay, let's, let's just keep it at that. Other leagues. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's look at the inbox. Basically saying that the three uh, new scouting networks have been established. Finances. Now, for the Premier League, I mean, I'm going to need a new outfit. All right? And, uh, get the shirt. I'm going to go to the black club jacket that I originally had. So let's do that. Let's go with the, the suit. Let's go with the suit again. Let's see. Excess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. No tangerine tie per se. Oh, that's what I was looking for. The white tie. We're gonna be styling. I'm only styling with the white tie. Socks. Apple nah, cares. Shoes. What if there's any? Uh, what if there's any uh, white dress shoes in here? Not those loafers. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll go with the gray. I'm gonna give myself a different look here. All right. Customize club settings. I'll keep everything the same. So I've got a 562 million dollar budget. Uh, I don't weekly budget 10 million. I don't understand that whole weekly 363 minus 363 million. But I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll find out here. And let's go to uh, oh hold on let me go to Central right here before we do any training. You could, let's see if there's anything in the Youth Academy. There's only one a uh, Tony Werner. Okay, yeah, he, I don't think he'll play much. I think maybe we should get a third goalkeeper, but for now, um, see if uh, maybe we can find a center back. Oh, that's right, we hadn't finished scouting. Injury prone, injury prone, remove. You're injury prone. I don't care how good you are. I'm not going to want you on the team. Injury prone. Uh, Tristan Blackman. Let's see. A uh, power header. Okay. And then. Ooh. Ooh. How much is Boba worth? No. Market value 11 million. Let's start scouting him. I know. I know. He's. I know. He's a stud. Then I'll, let's see, uh, long throwing. He's from 16 million. Ooh. We got Bazunu, but I do need another left back. Cause I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna need another left back and another right back. 
If I can get Bogle, let me go back here. Let me go to back to a. Uh, let me go back to my squad. If I can get a. If I get Bogle. Well, he's gone. Andy Lyons is gone. If I can get a Bogle, that's pretty much the end for a Jordan Lawrence Gabriel, quite frankly. Because Bogle's way better than him. Where's the left back? Okay, he's gone. So yeah, he's not gonna be a part of the. He's not gonna be a part of this team. Did I put him on loan? I transfer him. He's too old for a for a loan. So I'm gonna need a left back. Or, so basically, defense was a real problem. Now that we've secured a Christian Bazunu, uh, the problem is gonna be I'm gonna need another, another center back. I'm gonna need a, a new left back and another another right back. So let's see what we come up with here. Let's see, nothing in the youth academy coming through. So let's go to transfer. Let's get some Premier League guys uh, in the picture. So let's search. Uh, I'm not going to be long with this video. I'm not going to be. Uh, I'm not going to be here for like two hours or anything like that. So let's see. Just go with defenders, and uh, let's make it that for there from the uh, Barclays Premier League. That'll just kind of make it easier for me. I just missed it. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we come up with. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Well, he's happy at Fulham. Is anybody scouted? Is there anybody fully scouted now? Uh, Tayo Adaramola from Crystal Palace. Oh, this guy's very good. Uh, uh, now from uh, Sheffield United. Yeah, this this guy right here. He, he a six foot five center back. Yeah, he's one of the reasons why they gave us the business. Manuel Akanji, of course, Manchester. We have no chance of getting him. Uh, this guy from Nottingham Forest. Okay, Nathan Ake. Of course, he's not coming. Uh, I don't know who this Andre Amaro is. I'm gonna have to do some more research on him. Ah, uh, it says here he's showing great potential. He's six foot one. Uh, probably somebody taller than him. Uh, Joakim Anderson, Ethan Amparu, mm, Anderson Arroyo. Bro, he's a five foot nine center back. Bro, really? Uh, Harrison Ashby. Okay, so there's lots of options. Ryan Astley. One of he's related to Rick Astley. We don't know. Serge Aria. He's 30. Very good, but I don't. I don't want to. Luke Ailing from Leeds. Okay, Aspilicueta, of course. Uh, Beno Barashilani. I want to get somebody under 25. Oh, okay, this guy right here. Uh, Benoit. I think I'm going to scout him and see what's going on here. George Baldock. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Um, that this is going to take me a, this is going to take me quite a while to uh, find uh, a left back, a right back, and a center back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. I'm going to do some research on the side outside of this uh, platform. And I'm going to make a short list of uh, left backs, center backs, and right backs that I'm going to be interested in. And so in my next podcast, episode 34, I'll have that list 
uh, in my transfer hub and then from there see uh, I'm only gonna need one of each and then from there I'll see which one I which guy I can bring in and which one wants to come to Blackpool and then go from there I'm not gonna do anything as far as my strikers or the wingers I think that they're they're good enough uh, to play in the Premier League and I think uh, the firepower that I have up front will be enough for me to avoid relegation so I'm not gonna try to get you know Harry Kane or Robert Lewandowski or, or, or Messi uh, it won't hurt to look if I can afford them I mean it won't hurt to look but I'm not gonna I know I'm not gonna get anybody like that or, or Cristiano Ronaldo or, or anybody like that uh, I try to I try to stick to some some of the young guys some young blood uh, that's gonna be my focus and then building them up uh, the strength of my team I, I said it before I'll say it again is the midfield with uh, Xavi Simmons, Buonanote, uh, Alda Guler, uh, Labia, uh, Martel, and then uh, the guys that are coming in, the new guys, Ralph Wagner, uh, Lewis Miley, and then a couple of these other young guys that are uh, coming in through the Youth Academy, uh, the young man from Spain. So I think midfield is going to be solid. I have no issues there. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is doing some more research and uh, trying to come up with some defenders. Uh, the defense did get better towards the end of the year, but I don't want to have the issues that I was having uh, in the EFL championship, just giving up goal after goal after goal. I gave up, what, like 79, 80 goals at least uh, this season in the EFL championship. I don't want that to happen uh, in the Premier League because I my team will not survive. So that's what I'm going to focus on. So um, I'll have a new list of left, left backs, full backs, and center backs and then I'll start trying to negotiate with them and try to get them to uh, join the Seasiders. So until next time, this is Kevin and this has been episode 33 of the Veterans Gaming Podcast.